good afternoon friends and today i am talking about a very interesting lessons of geography mainly at the graduation level social area analysis is a very important point for all the students of different university social area analysis is a very interesting topic but before that we have to understand the social space in my last video i have shared about this social space is a interest for geographers anthropologists sociologist and feminist while area is something different we geographers are always dealing with orology means the study of the area so when the social space is a subject of all the social scientists social area is something very much connected to our own discipline now social area analysis this concept was introduced by shifke and bell in the year 1955 and the analysis has been done in the context of chicago first here in the last class i have told you about that in a family you may divided the different you may find different space depending on their income their social status their education level so this is the social space now if i think this same thing in a broader concept it may become the area or social area okay suppose this is a neighborhood there are total seven uh buildings or seven uh families are there so to understand the social area i have taken three important variables one is family status the second one is ethnic status and third one is social status family status is not a thing that you can understand within just seeing one or two variables sometimes it's a combination of more than two or three variables like family structure family size mainly when we just discussing about the family status most of the people discuss the two these two variables now come to the next one is the ethnic status it's mainly connected with three important variables like language religion and race now the social status it has a connection with the family income education level and occupation structure so these all variables make together the concept of the ethnic status these variables make the concept of its family status and this three make the sense of the social status now come to the next one when i'm talking about the family status so there are two type one is family structure and family size so the family structure it can be divided into three sections three parts joint nuclear and extended family size can be three types or more than two or three types it's totally depend on the researcher or the people who actually doing the research on the social area i have taken this three less than 4 4 to 6 and greater than 6 small medium and big it's my own consideration so if i take this two i may make a combination like joint and big families joint and medium families joint and small families extended and big families so on and i have pointed out this as a code 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it like this in this neighborhood i have found this three type of uh, family status and i have shown it by this symbol Ma means one joint and big family three joint and small family and six nuclear and small family after family status now i have to move to the next one social status social status mainly depending on the education the occupation and the income but i want to mention that one can take different uh, other than uh, this variable some other variables also because is totally i'm telling you what kind of variable you consider what kind of variable people have may take for their own analysis is depending on their own consideration because social status is something which can be subjective which can be objective so here i am taking this three because these three are considered by most of the people who are working in this particular topic so if i am taking again education level college education level school primary level education then i marked it use a coding you have seen it next i combine this three and i get this three okay you may uh, from here you can make different type of combination but i just suppose that in this neighborhood i can get this three combination 1 2 and 3 means college level education and uh, secondary 
type of occupation with medium level of income then the small uh, then the school level of income uh, school uh, level education primary level uh, primary uh, sector activity and low income and i have again marked it with the symbol next to that i come to the next one ethnic ethnic status ethnic status here also i have considered these three language religion and race but again there is no hard and bound one hard and first rule that you have to take these three also because nowadays people are doing this type of work taking more than one two three variables according to their own concept according to their own perspective so i have taken language religion and race so language sometimes single one language like bengali bengali and hindi bengali hindi english like in this way you can get so many combination case of religion there is hindu muslims and others in case of race indo aryan mongoloid austric and dravidian again i have make a code taking these three variables i have make a combine code or form okay like 1 2 3 4 5 here i have seen suppose in this neighborhood i get 2 3 and 5 2 means the person who can speak only in bengali and the religion should be muslim and the race is indo aryan in this neighborhood i have found this type of three people group which has which has this kind of ethnic status now depending on this three i have prepared this photographs or this pictures here i have put the family status first and you see that 1 2 Three, uh, four, six, and five is there. Here also the same thing is here. In the first one, I have put the family status, and I have used different symbols. In the social status, the same thing is here, and ethnic status. So is the last map. If I am talking about this six, what kind of social area it is? It will indicate that this area people mainly <coughs> belong to the nuclear family. and they are school level educated they are uh, connected you know, they are involved in the primary sector activity with lower income level and they are mainly bengalis but they are not hindu and muslim something different but they connect they are um, you know they are indo aryan by their racial identity so here you can understand if i divided this neighborhood into the different things and i super impose these three maps i'll get a map here it is not possible for me to make it because it can easily be done at any gis software so that you can understand that here i have divide uh, i can easily divided this area into different parts using these things and it will give me a different area a social area somehow this area is different from this area this area different sometimes if this two will be same this one will be different so in this area in this way we can easily understand what is mean by the social area social area is nothing it's a area or it's a area which is totally depending on this three important factors one is family status social status and ethnic status when you divided a particular area depending on this three status and you can use more than when uh, you more than one variables under each of the status and when you combine these things together you can get the idea of a social area sometimes the social area can take um, can be divided into two or three or four and uh, one area can take one really one word or one neighborhood sometimes it takes more than one neighborhood there is not a problem but the basic thing is like that actually in through my uh, video i just want to make you understand that at graduation level it is not very easy to understand the social area analysis which has been described using the factorial uh, ecology so i think my video will be helpful for the people who will uh, learn this subject for the first time so get the so get the primary idea thank you very much if you have any queries and if you please send me your feedback so that in next class i'll incorporate this information thank you